Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to discuss how to calculate gain or loss on disposal when exchange or trade in fixed asset using straight line method yearly basis. So we want to when we want to calculate a computing depreciation, there are two bases, monthly or yearly. Now we look at the yearly basis for purchasing year and also for selling year. For purchasing year, we must calculate full year of depreciation and for selling year, there is no depreciation for the sale of the asset. When we want to exchange or trade in fixed asset for another fixed asset, we must calculate gain or loss. When we want to calculate gain or loss, we must compare the trade in value with book value. So when we want to compare book value of all machine or all asset with trade in value, and when book value is bigger than trade in value, then we will get loss of disposal. And when we compare the book value and book value is smaller than trade in value, then we will get gain on disposal. Now look at the example. Ronald Company Limited trade in old machine with a new machine on 5th of July 2019 and the following information related to the transaction. So from the data given, there are two types of machine, old machine and new machine. So the date of purchase for old machine, 10th of July 2016, the cost of machine, 20,000, the ratio RM2000 useful life, 6 years. And for new machine, the date of acquisition, 5th of July 2019, the cost of new machine RM30,000, the ratio value RM2000 and its useful life, 10 years. The methods of depreciation straight line method. Trade in value of old machine worth RM5000. Depreciation recorded full in the year of purchase and no depreciation recorded in the year of dis disposal. It means that the company used straight line method yearly basis. Now, you are required to prepare journal entry to record the purchase of new machine on 5th of July 2019. And the second one, you are required to prepare adjusted journal entry to record depreciation expense for the year ended 31st December 2019. So, before we prepare adjusted journal entry, there are a few steps to calculate gain or loss. So we must calculate gain or loss. We can prepare gain or loss by using calculation or journal entry. So the first one, we, have, we must calculate accumulated depreciation of old machine. The second one, we must calculate book value of old machine. The third one, we must compare book value of old machine with trade in value and if we find out trade in value is bigger than book value of old machine then we will get we will get gain on disposal or if book value is bigger than trade in value then we will get loss on disposal and there are a few steps of preparing preparing journal entry at the date of disposal. First, we must remove all fixed assets. The second one, we must remove accumulated depreciation of all fixed assets. 
The third one, we must add new fixed asset. So you can see number one, credit old fixed asset. Number two, debit accumulated depreciation of old asset when we remove the accumulated depreciation. The third one, we must add new fixed asset. So debit new fixed asset in the journal entry. The fourth one, we must calculate cash payment. So cost of new asset less trade in value. So we must credit cash in the journal entry. And the last one, we must calculate gain or loss of missing figure. So if we lost the missing figure in the credit side, there is gain on disposal. And if the missing figure in the debit side, there is loss on debit, loss debit side, there is loss on disposal. This is the schedule of depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation for old machine. So from the question given, the company use straight line method yearly basis. So for the first year or the date of purchase, we must calculate full year of the, of the account, full year. And 2019, no depreciation in the year of disposal. It means that we must calculate depreciation of all machine from 2016 until 2018 and 2019, no depreciation in the year of disposal. So we can get the depreciation for each year, RM3000, and the accumulated depreciation at the end of 31st December 2018, and the book value of old machine for the year ended 2018 is RM11000 based on yearly basis. Now, we can use the formula to calculate gain or loss. <coughs> so, accumulated depreciation of old machine from the schedule, we got RM9000 and the book value of old machine we can get from the schedule RM11000 and we can compare the book value with trade in value. So when we compare book value RM11,000 and trade in value given in the question RM5,000, then you will get loss on disposal RM6,000. So when you want to prepare the journal entry to record new machine purchased on 5th of July, 2019. So we must calculate cash paid for new machine. 30,000 less RM5,000 trade in value given in the question. Then the cash payment is RM25,000. So when, when you want to record in the journal entry, there are a few steps that you have to follow. The first one, we must remove old machine, so credit old machine. The second one, we must remove accumulated depreciation of old machine, so we must record debit side RM9000. The third one, we must add new machine, so debit RM30000. The fourth step, we must record cash payment for new machine. So we credit cash RM25,000. And the missing figure is RM6,000. How to get it? We must balance the debit side and the credit side of the journal. And you can find out there is short figure in the debit side. RM6000. So that one we call lost on disposal. So we have to
give an explanation to record disposal of machine. So this is the way how to record journal entry when you want to trade in old machine with the new machine. Now, we have to prepare adjusted journal entry to record depreciation expense for the year 2019 using yearly basis. So, the depreciation expense for new machine that we purchased 5th of July 2019 until 31st December 2019. But we now, we are now using yearly basis. So, based on yearly basis, we must calculate full year for the date of depreciation. No, no, no. You must calculate full year for the date of purchase. So, 12 over 12 times 30,000 less 2,000 for residual value divided by useful life 10 years and you will get depreciation for the year ended 2019 RM 2,800. So, the journal entry or adjusted journal entry debit depreciation expense and credit accumulated depreciation of new machine RM2800. So we just write down for explanation to record depreciation expense of machine. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Thank you.